just got done at the ladies' tea, little lunch and fashion show. <laughs> I'm gonna show you some cars now. There's Paul taking pictures of cars. <laughs>
So today I am lucky enough to talk to Andy from The Restore. It's one of the magazines. It is an awesome magazine and if you don't have it yet, you should sign up for it. But I'll introduce you to him and he'll tell you all about it. Hi, my name is Andy Shear and I have the wonderful opportunity of producing six issues a year of The Restorer magazine for the Model A Ford Club of America. I don't know about you when you look at the magazine, but oh, do I mostly have fun putting it together. It's a fantastic opportunity for me, because not only did I go to school for journalism and work in publishing for the past 45 years, but I remember when I was, oh, maybe first grade, our class for our spring field trip at Clara B. Ford Elementary School in Dearborn, Michigan went to Greenfield Village and the Henry Ford Museum, and that was the first time when I was, I don't know, six years old, something like that, got to see 999, the race car that Henry Ford put together, and Model Ts and Ford Tri-Motors and things like that. So, as a product of Dearborn, Michigan, just like Model A's, I've been interested in cars since I was a little kid. About four or five years ago, I found out that The Restore was looking for a new editor and, well, I'd been driving Model A's for only about four or five years at that time, having driven across the country a couple times with my father-in-law. And I get this great big opportunity. It's like being in a club of Model A people, except instead of maybe 25 or 50 people, there's something like 11,000 people, and each issue, maybe 20, 25 of them or so, are contributing material to the magazine. Maybe it's a story about how they got their Model A and how they restored it. Maybe it's about, you know that problem you have where your car isn't stopping real well, and here's what you need to know to fix your brakes. There's some solid technical articles, and not only do I get to help polish them and put them in the magazine so that you can benefit them, but I learn about them myself because I haven't been driving my 1930 town sedan all that long. What I really depend on as a fairly new Model A guy is people who've been at it so much longer than I have. And that's the fantastic thing I found about being in Mafka. Now, I'm on YouTube. I'm in Facebook reading from people, you know, hearing things from people. You ever noticed how on the Facebook or on the uh, forums where, you know, you ask something and you get five different contradictory answers? <laughs> and I know that at least in our technical articles in the Restorer, this stuff has been checked out by the, by the club's technical director, editor, and that, and at least this is going to work. There's so much more than that. Just today here at the convention, there was this luncheon celebrating era fashion, people thinking, hey, why don't we dress up in clothes from 1928 to 31? And every issue of the magazine, there's something about that. Ever needed a part and wondered where to get some? There are advertisements and you learn about new products. I know when I was looking to buy an alternator just lately, I went back and looked at the ad that was on page, I think it was page 50, yeah, it's page 53, and I found out some good information there that I need. So it's kind of like, you know, I know a lot of people who are in parts of the country where there's not a Model A club somewhere nearby, and what are you going to do? Are you going to drive three hours to a meeting? I don't think so, especially not in driving at night for three hours in a Model A. If you're not already a member of Mafka, think about joining it. You'll get six issues of the magazine. It's like being part of a club where there are people who can come alongside you. You can hear their stories. It's like it's like being part of a Model A family. It's hard to keep one of those cars on the road running reliably. Just by yourself, sometimes you need a hand. Sometimes you need some encouragement. Sometimes you need some advice. And that's what I love about putting the magazine together. I know that you're able to 
not only read interesting stories, but get the help and support and camaraderie. And we can all be in this together. You know, if you ever drive down the street and somebody see somebody else in a Model A and not have the temptation to wave and honk and maybe stop and talk to them. And if you're not already part of the community, we'd love to have you there.